Hi my loves, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. We are here with another cooking video, but this one is a prison meal and it's actually Adam's favorite prison meal. So we're gonna recreate that. He gave me the recipes, the recipe. I literally just finished working out. It's time to eat, so I figured there's no good time to make this recipe, but I might as well do it with you guys. We will walk through it, we will talk through it. So if you're interested, please, Keep watching. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure that you hit that little subscribe button below. And for anybody, make sure that you give this video a like. It's just a free way to help me out and tell YouTube that you appreciate and you like my content. I cannot thank you enough for doing that. And if this is your first video, my name is Ro. I am the founder of a support group called Strong Prison Wives and Families, and I use my years of experience as a prison wife to help prison wives and family members feel educated, empowered, supported, and loved, not only while their loved ones are serving time, but long after they get out. If you stick with me and use the tools and exercises that I provide to you, your loved one will get out, they will stay out, and you will live happily ever after. And even if you don't have a loved one who's on the inside, I love, 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 love all of my subscribers who are here to learn about the system and criminal justice reform. You guys are amazing. So Adam's favorite recipe of all time, he swears to me that he will continue to eat it when he's home. I highly doubt it once I get sushi into this man, but is made with mackerel for protein and to eat a healthier protein. It's really common to get mackerel off of the commissary. They eat it almost like it's canned tuna. I don't think that they can get canned tuna in there, but they do get canned mackerel. So he, for the longest time, will mix mackerel with anything. For a while, they were getting apples in there. So his big go-to was mackerel, oats, yes, oats as in oatmeal, but dry, and apples. And when he would tell me he would eat it, he would call it mackerel and apples. So I lovingly named it McCrapple, because it probably tastes like crap. He since cannot get apples, so he's morphed the recipe. And it sounds and looks even worse, but here are the ingredients we are going to be using, and then we will walk through it and we will make it together. First things first, we will be using our mackerel. He told me he used chicken of the sea. I got these ingredients at Walmart, by the way. They had chicken of the sea, but it was a huge can. I will probably never eat mackerel again. I did try it one time. I thought it was disgusting. I gagged. So I got the small one, but he says he uses chicken of the sea. For a while, they had what was called out of the commissary Jack Mac or Jack Mac packs or something, and they would get them in packs of maybe 10 or so. This one is called certified wild caught and sustainable because you know it makes it that much better you guys know i don't eat out of cans or boxes or bags so <laughs> oh god the things i do for youtube then we have these i did not get from walmart these i just eat i had them in the house so they are my gluten-free oats old-fashioned oats he eats them raw in there. The trick of this is to eat it raw and to not make it. You're not gonna make the oatmeal mushy because that's gonna make a whole different meal and that'll be disgusting. That'll probably be more like a crab cake and this isn't cooked. You could share this with your loved one on the inside, by the way, if you have a loved one inside because this is probably tasty to them. He swears, swears, swears that it's tasty. To us, it'll be probably disgusting. I will do a taste test at the end. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna eat because Ugh, I have access to real food. But if you have access to only jail food, this probably tastes decent to you. So he also uses jalapenos, sliced jalapenos out of the jar. They get them off of the commissary. I got these at Walmart. He also uses, he used a mixed hot pepper medley. I couldn't find that there. So I just got hot banana peppers. We both like spicy a lot. If you're loved one on the inside doesn't or if you don't and you want to try this then just get whatever mild peppers you can get you could leave out the peppers and then he said you could either use sriracha which i do not care for it tastes too much like ketchup to me and i just don't like ketchup i never have i think it's disgusting 
there are some people who I found through my YouTube videos who hate ketchup and mayo as much as me. I thought I was the anomaly, so I love it. If you are not a fan of ketchup or mayo or both, let me know in the comments below because I feel like we're a little club of outnumbered people. But he also said he's gone back and forth between sriracha, which I don't like, chili garlic sauce, which is what I have, or a hot sauce, like a Thai garlic chili sauce that comes in a black bottle. I didn't even see that, so this is the one that we're using. Let's take out his recipe and we will do all of the measurements and we will keep going. So he said, <laughs> I know I can trust you and all of your subscribers with my secret recipe for McCrapple. Now he called it McCrapple too because it's what we've called it for years because of when I dubbed it crap. So he's teasing, share this, please, please share this with your loved ones if you think that they would like it. Absolutely, he is teasing right now. So it says, take a bowl and put a quarter cup of oats in there. So we have our oats, we have an empty bowl, and we're pouring those, we're wasting those in there. <laughs> then we are doing, Oh, we're mixing our dry ingredients together. I forgot because I didn't get this at Walmart. It's also, he uses Mish, Mishes, oh my gosh, Mrs. Dash and garlic powder. So let me grab those. I don't have Mrs. Dash. I have something very similar. It's an organic seasoning that has a lot of garlic in there anyway. It's basically, uh, it's by the brand Simply Organic and it's basically an organic Mrs. Dash with garlic and onion powder in there. And he just said, use it liberally, liberally 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 use a liberal amount do you see what happens in my videos okay we'll be liberal with that i can't believe i'm doing this next we're doing three ounces of chicken of the sea mackerel he uses it in soybean oil you're adding it to the oats with the oil i did not get soybean oil because ew i got it in mine's in 100 percent olive oil here we go. Oh my God. Why am I doing this to myself? Let's do this up close and personal. Let's do this together. Okay. Oh, why are we doing this? Oh boy. Oh, it stinks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I'm draining this oil. Sorry, Adam. He needs the oil for the fat. I drained and rinsed mine because I don't need that. It smells, now that I cleaned it off, it smells just like tuna fish in a can. So that can't be too terrible. It's better than the last time I tried mackerel because I just wanted to see what he loved so much and that was disgusting. Okay, next up is, he said, add the wet seasonings and ingredients to the mix, which would be a liberal amount of jalapeno slices and the peppers in oil. Okay. If I could open jar. I thought maybe I wouldn't be able to open the jar and we wouldn't have to do this. I just have my jar, I have my bowl. Those smell spicy. And I'm just taking a fork. These are not in oil, I don't think. I think they're in brine. Yeah, they're just in water. Okay, you said a liberal amount. My mouth's gonna be on fire, but that's okay. Okay. Woo! My eyes are burning. My mouth is already burning. Next up is the hot banana peppers. Okay. Mm, I love me some banana peppers. I wonder if these are in oil. I think these are in water too. Yep. It's kind of like in a brine. Then I'm sure we're gonna add the garlic sauce. There's a lot of garlic in here, huh? Now douse everything in the bowl with he says huang foy sriracha. I guess that's the sriracha they get in there or chili garlic sauce. Okay. Whew. Just 
just don't look at the ingredients wrong. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. You don't want to know. You do not want to know. And then he said mayo is optional. He's been adding mayo recently because he wants to increase his fat content because they don't get a lot of healthy fats in there. I do not care for mayo. He didn't do mayo for the longest time, so I'm not going to do it. If I was going to make myself some sort of canned fish deal at home for me to eat the way I want to eat. First of all, it would be fresh catch. I would cook the tuna myself. I would not get it out of a can and then I would shred it with a fork. And then instead of mayo, personally, I would use avocado. That's the way I would eat it. But for sake of our loved ones on the inside that are trying to eat healthy, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Let me show you the inside of this bowl after I mix this around. It looks the furthest thing from appetizing, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside of our bowl. You could see the, the ton of peppers, you could see the dry oats in there. Oof, this looks horrible. Okay, let's go sit down and eat. Maybe I should get some water. Again, excuse the appearance. I worked out right before I did this and it was time to eat, so I figured might as well. All right, let's try to get a bite with everything in there because I don't know how many bites we're going to last. There's some fish. There's some peppers. Okay. Smells very spicy and a little fishy. <laughs> I feel like I have to work myself up to do this. I'm not trying to give him credit, but that's shockingly good. Probably because I burnt my taste buds off and can't taste anything, but to be honest, it's really not that bad. It is so much better than I thought it would be. I mean, if you like canned fish, but he's right. I did not believe him. Damn it, I gotta give him credit for this. The oats make it crunchy. Like who says you have to eat oats sweet? You could eat oats savory. They're just a carb. It's just a grain. Just like you eat rice, just like you eat quinoa. You can make quinoa sweet or you can make it savory. So the oats are just absorbing the flavor and just giving it a little bit of texture. All of the peppers, the heat and that sauce is drowning out the fishy taste of the fish. And to be honest with you, I could eat this whole entire bowl. Well, that's asking a lot, but I could eat a decent amount of this. I could eat a, quite a bit of this and be okay. So if I'm okay, who has access to any food I want out here, has access to organic food out here, has access to every vegetable, grain, every fish, every meat, I don't eat meat, but every thing that I wanna eat when I want to eat it, I'm not stuck eating the slop that they make in there. Half of it, it's not fit. Half the time, it's not fit for human consumption. And this is okay to me. This will be really, really, really good to your loved one on the inside. And it is super healthy because it is canned fish. Although, you know, if they were on the outside, I probably would really deter Adam from eating canned anything. But canned fish, it is a lot of peppers. It is raw oats. So it's good carbs. It is vegetables, it is good protein, and if he put the mayo in there, I don't like mayo, I would hate that, but it would also be a healthier, for the options they have in there, a healthier fat. Because for example, for a while, guys were telling him that they were eating spoonfuls of powdered creamer, like out here we call it Coffee Mate, for protein, because it's made out of soy, but it's all GMO, horrible soy, all chemicals. And he had to sit the guys down and explain to them the difference between healthy protein and not healthy protein. So this is a really good healthy protein. Eating spoonfuls of creamer just because it's protein, you guys, you could throw that in the air and light it on fire and it's flammable. You probably shouldn't put anything in your body that's flammable. So the point in sharing that with you is they are always on the hunt 
for good protein in there because they don't feed them enough calories for growing men. And when they do feed them calories, it's in the form of simple carbs, such as cakes and pancakes and sugary cereals. And then they get, the clock's going down. And then they'll get stuff like hot dogs and hamburgers and all kinds of slop for lunches. They're a big meal in the feds and then dinner. Sometimes it's a bologna sandwich and that's it. And that's all they're being fed by the BOP, by the DOC all day long. And they have to make up for the difference in protein and calories if they can eating out of their commissary. So this is huge for them. This is really, honestly, if I can get this down, they can get this down. I'm giving it a thumbs up, honestly. For prison food, I'm shocked. I am shocked, like genuinely mind blown shook that I liked that. I, I have to honestly give Adam credit where it's due. And I've been teasing him about this for years, you guys, Ye years, years. So if you personally try this, again, everything I got was out of Walmart and except for the oats, which you can get out of Walmart. I just had mine in the house that I eat daily, but everything else except the seasonings, which you can get out of Walmart as well, but I had those in the house too. And you probably don't wanna eat this before you kiss somebody because <laughs> it's really garlicky, but it does help mask the flavor. I thought all of those flavors together would be disgusting, but it's not bad. So I'll probably save this. I'm not supposed to eat. I'm on a very strict eating regimen right now just because I'm working with a coach and a trainer and I already had oats once today. So maybe I'll save this for tomorrow, but I'm not opposed to the flavor of it. I just can't eat those extra oats now. I ate them already. If you guys try this, let me know in the comments below if you send it to your loved one and they try it for a healthy protein option, especially the way they work out in there, they really need it. Let me know. Let me know anything you want to let me know. If your guy or woman on the inside eats anything crazy, weird concoctions, I am sure they do. But this is a healthier one. Usually the concoctions you see out of people who are making YouTube videos about it, prison YouTubers, I love watching them, but usually it's junky food out of the commissary and they're making either cakes or sweet treats like I did on my birthday, or they're making things like those really big burritos, I forget what they call them, but they take chips and they take all this kind of stuff and they fry it in the microwave and it's really, really, really just processed unhealthy food, more snack type of treats, but this he eats every day and it's a healthier, healthier, I don't wanna say healthy, everything in there is a healthy option out here, but off the commissary. I mean, I'm being a, a snob at, right now, but we'll say for what they have access to in the commissary, this is the healthiest probably thing that they could eat. So that's it, you guys. Keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. And Lord knows I am too. Yay! I will see you. Did I say lots of love from my heart to yours? I don't know. Lots of love from my heart and my belly and Adam's heart and Adam's McCrapple belly, McCrapple full belly to all of yours. If you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like this, but I'll make more. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one.